All right, guys, first things first, I got a haircut. The COVID lockdowns are easing up, the economy is opening up, I patronized a local establishment, and I got a haircut. It's the simple things. Oh yeah, and file sharing. I got something cool about file sharing coming up, so hold on. So what is OwnCloud? If you arrived at this video, it's because you were either looking for an alternative to Dropbox, you were looking for a file sharing platform, or you specifically were researching OwnCloud itself. Uh, so let me start with that and define what OwnCloud is. OwnCloud is a file sharing platform. Uh, it also synchronizes files between devices, so that's what makes it very powerful. And a lot of people compare it to being an alternative for Dropbox, so that may be how you ended up here. Um, what is different about own cloud is that like the name implies it is your own cloud uh, the idea being that you control the files you have ownership of them they are selling the software and the support that is what the commercial arm is now first of all own cloud is an open source engine and you can use it freely and the free version works great uh, but there is a commercial arm of OwnCloud that offers certain things to, say, larger businesses or to businesses that uh, want support for the product. Maybe they want uh, branding on their own cloud instance so that when people share files, it comes with the company branding along with it. Maybe they want specific features to make sharing of files easier or integrate with other systems within their company. So that's what the commercial arm of OwnCloud uh, focuses in on. That's what they do. Um, why would someone want to use OwnCloud? Um, Dropbox is there. It's entirely convenient. It's like on everything now. You know, and, and that's the problem is that, uh, you know, when a company or a service or a product gets big and it starts to grow to an extreme extent, it becomes a target for hackers. The, the exploits become very well known. Um, a lot of times people talk about the security of their software. They try to make you feel comfortable about the security and what they're doing about that. But the problem with security is that security is always a response. It is never a proactive approach, right? Security is always a response. When exploits are found out, then those exploits are patched. So people in the enterprise and small to medium businesses have to be very careful about trusting you know this idea uh, that getting sold on security because you're secure up to today's standards but tomorrow's exploits are just around the corner that's something for people to be very sensitive to now I remember you know just from the perspective of someone working in enterprise IT department uh, you know that once we started going to some of these cloud hosted facilities that had millions of customers on them is when our breaches became much more frequent and it became much more sensitive to ensure that people were sharing data securely. And that, you know, was kind of an eye-opening experience. That's kind of lending validity to the idea that, you know, again, security is always a response. It's not a proactive approach. You try to be proactive, but, you know, there's some clever people out there. So. Um, just something to keep in mind. When it comes to own cloud, what makes it different is that you can install your own own cloud server on your business premises or at your home, for that matter. Uh, if that's too complex for you, because there that is, there is a difficulty level involved there, and if you're not familiar with networks and how to port forward and set up a server and that kind of thing, um, working with virtual box or other virtual machines, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's still there's plenty of tutorials out there that if you're willing to take it on and just try it as an experiment, plenty of tutorials, and I will link some of those in the description below. Um, but you can definitely do it. I'm just saying, be prepared. The difficulty level there is admittedly high. Uh, it took me a while to figure out my first instance that I set up. Um, but there is a simpler way to do it, and there are many tutorials for setting up a 
hosted version of OwnCloud on some free platforms out there. Some are paid platforms, um, but it's available. You can set it up on Amazon Web Services or CloudShare. You know, there's a, a ton of different, uh, you know, platforms out there that you could set up a virtual machine on. That's probably a little bit easier, and you can find tutorials on that. So that's another way to do it. But if you have the resources and if you have the know-how, I would recommend setting up your own in-house solution for this and the reason why is because at that point you own your files they're very easily accessible your employees that are sharing files to a drive for example they back up very quickly um, you can use it as a backup utility its primary focus at that point is actually sharing of files so you know you can share them through the web interface um, you know, like I said, I've been using OwnCloud for years, and it just works. It's very convenient. It's it's very powerful in how it works. And you know, there's also just again something to the fact that nobody else owns your files. That's hosted on your hardware. It's your instance of OwnCloud. There's no intellectual property concerns with it. It's it's very robust. It's very powerful in what it can do. So, you know, like I said, it it is not just simple to set up. It's not a one-click thing if you want to set it up in your business. But if you want to take that on as a uh, experiment, or if you want to actually set it up. Uh, you can either get support through the commercial arm of OwnCloud, or you can hire somebody to help you do it, or you can just read some tutorials. Uh, you know, there's, you know, I'll be happy to help with with people that have questions about it. Um, so let me know if you have questions, you know, and I can do some further tutorials on how to set it up and how it's implemented. But like I said, I don't want to ramble. I feel like I'm rambling. I can't really say enough good things about OwnCloud. I think that. Uh, it's it's a very powerful tool for people in the businesses. If you have questions about OwnCloud, let me know. I just want to say that I think it's a great tool. It's something that I've been using for years. And um, you know, when it comes to file sharing and file synchronizing between devices, man, just what what a salvation that that software has been. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.